Hello, hello, Jay Quinzel here. This is one of the first unboxing videos I've done in quite some time. Before it was Loot Crate. Now, um, I purchased this sweet little deal. Uh, Jurassic World Deluxe Kit. It is from Dr. Collector. Um, ships from the UK. And I had to pay quite a bit for shipping because of that. But I was so excited to get this, I, I couldn't help myself. I had to spend that extra... What was it? Fifteen dollars on shipping. Um, just another kit coming out called the Jurassic Park Welcome Kit Deluxe or something like that. Uh, I pre-ordered it, um, so there's gonna be another unboxing video coming soon. I don't know when they're gonna ship that one. I, last I checked was uh, possibly October. Well, I'm gonna do an unboxing video of this kit right here, the Jurassic World Deluxe Kit. And uh, I'm a bit apprehensive to open it simply because of this here sticker. It says collector's box and it's no big deal. But I, when something has a sticker, I, I get a little apprehensive about opening things. <laughs> so let's get going. So uh, let's take off the wrapper. I should have brought a knife or a pair of scissors, but I did not. So I might have to do this by hand. Frustrating, but here we go. Taking off the plastic. Now... The main thing about this kit, I should probably show it to you. Uh, let me show it to you after I open this. Now, the main thing about this kit is that it is a set of various in-world pieces of uh, memorabilia. Comes in the sheet. Oh, and it has a nice printed image on the back. I didn't notice that. Here, let me show you. That's uh, different than the sheet here, which details all the interior stuff. It says, welcome to Jurassic World. Discover a new park highlight. Gyros Field Tour, Aquarium, T-Rex Kingdom, Aviary, Underwater Observatory. So it's very in-universe. There's uh, mentions of a three-day family park pass. Meet Mr. DNA, the hatchery. It's uh, a lot of memorabilia. So let's open up the box and see what's inside, shall we? Woo, I'm excited. I'm so excited I can't even open the box. So here we go. Once you open the box, check out what's inside. It's all laid out like this. It's uh, tempting to tip it. Well, I don't want to tip it too much to spill everything. Uh, immediately we see a... Welcome to Jurassic World 3 Day Pass. And it's adhered to a... Should I remove it? There we go. So here is my 3 Day Pass. It has a little bit of glue on the back. Not like glue glue, but that sticky booger stuff. And it costs $750 to go visit Jurassic World. I can afford that. If Jurassic World was real, I would be going. So let's set this in the box and go through it. So next we have a brochure it says welcome to Jurassic World. On the back it has the Creation Lab advertisement. Let's open this up and see what's inside. So immediately we're met by park highlights and a dinosaur index of all the dinosaurs in Jurassic World. Uh, we have the Ankylosaur, Apatosaur, Baryonyx, Dimorphodon, Edmontosaurus, Gallimimus, Metriacanthosaurus, Microceratus, uh, Mosasaurus, Pachycephalosaurus, Parasaurolophus, Pteranodon, Stegosaurus, Suchomimus, Triceratops, and the Tyrannosaurus Rex. I'm not going to read the entire thing because it's very lengthy, but here we have some attractions. Um, let's see. We open it up, and we have... A little advertisement for your wristband, letting you know not to forget it behind. Um, more advertisements for more of the attractions. And let's open this up a little bit further to reveal ooh, a Isla Nublar Jurassic World map. Now this details every attraction and where the location of every dinosaur is, I believe. Well, it does tell you where the Mosasaurus, Gallimimus, Triceratops, and T-Rex is. I'm not going to 
display this on my wall opened up. I have a Jurassic Park version of this, my sibling lamp for my collection. And um, I'm gonna add it to my collection as is, fold it up. All right, Ooh, almost slid off there. Next we have this uh, license plate. Let's get this out. And the license plate features um, Jeep number 12 with uh, dinosaur scratchings on the back. You can see, very nice. I will be displaying this on my wall. Um, I will not be using it on my car. <laughs> and let's see what else we have. Next we have, here we go, another booklet. This is the Dinosaur Field Guide. I'm not, exact, I'm not exactly sure what this is, but uh, let's take a look. Open up to the first page and we have Gyrosphere Itinerary. So this seems to be a guide to the dinosaurs, which is kind of self-evident by the title, Dinosaur Field Guide. But uh, to be more detailed, it has uh, information about the dinosaurs, the location of the dinosaurs, as you can see right here. Um, and it goes through all the dinosaurs as was mentioned earlier, from the Tyrannodon to Dimorphodon to, uh, ooh, the Raptor Paddock. And these are not in movie photographs. These are rendered specifically for this, um, this kit. Here is the Indominus Rex, the secret exhibit. Ooh. The exhi secret exhibit is actually a Lego uh, short. So next we have what appears to be the guest pass. It's a piece of uh, cardboard, kind of flim not flimsy, but uh, not very thick. It has a uh, information on the back telling you you are required to wear it at all time, including the barcode. And there is a QR code, code QR code in the corner. Um, I might scan this later on to see what it does. I don't have a QR code reading app on my phone right now. Okay, next we have a postcard. Greetings from Jurassic World. It's a simple postcard. Very nice though. Has a T-Rex right here where the stamp belongs. Very simple. Next we have a wristband. Have one of those slap wristbands. And uh, I have one of these in white. I've been looking for a blue one for quite some time whenever I go to uh, Comic Con and Wonder Con, go visit that Jurassic Park uh, booth. And I haven't been able to find a blue one. The reason I wanted a blue one is because it's the one that's predominantly shown in the movie. Uh, there are various color tiers I noticed in the movie, but um, I just wanted the blue one because that's the one I believe uh, Gray had. Uh, next, we have some stickers that I'm not going to use. <laughs> I'm going to probably just keep these in the box. So this is an Isla Nublar Lagoon. It's already a little bit peeled. I got to say that a lot of the products are not in the best condition, but does not mean I'm going to be using these. Here's another one, genetically altered DNA, Jurassic World, 99.7% pure. As you can see, this one's smaller than the other one. And then uh, we have Jurassic World logo, simple emblem, very basic. And lastly, out of the stickers, we have, oh, if I can get it out, I don't want to peel it. A warning for electrified fence. I have one of these in a metal tin on my wall. Came from Loot Crate. But this is a sticker version. And lastly in the box that I can see is this Jurassic World lanyard. Which is to go with, if I can find it, where did I put you? It's supposed to go with this. So you just clip it on, wear it around your neck. Now I'm not going to do that. Or I might do that, actually. Hmm. I don't know. I'll debate it for a while. 
And that seems to be it for the box. Let's see if there's anything in the back. Nope. Let's see uh, what's on the list again. So, yes. Wait a minute. There's supposed to be a souvenir coin. That I did not see. Did they get moved to the box? Back of the box? Here we go. It slid out of view. So here is the souvenir coin. Very small. Just a punched out piece of metal. And there's no ridge to it. Very small, but a little coin. And that is it for this collection of the Jurassic World Deluxe Kit. Now, I gotta say, honestly, some of the things I liked, some of the things I didn't like. For example, I didn't like the quality of the stickers. They felt kind of like generic. But some other things I did like, such as the brochure, the license plate, the dinosaur um, field guide, and the postcard and such. Unfortunately, I noticed that some of the corners on, on some of the products are a little bit fray, bent and frayed. Um, I blame that to the shipping, not the quality of the box. It just shipping from all the way to UK to the United States. I'm, a, I'm sure it'll get a little bit knocked around. And actually the box itself is not in bad condition, which is going to be used to store a lot of these products as I add them to my display. Um, let's see, my favorite object out of this has to be, I gotta say the dinosaur field guide. It's a basic little pamphlet, but, uh, it has all this cool information about the dinosaurs and I just got in, uh, these images, here's the ankylosaur, and I gotta say, oh, here's a side chart, this is pretty cool. I gotta say, this is gonna be fun to thumb through uh, one day when I just feel like getting my Jurassic Park reading on, and I don't know what to read, I can just go through this and uh, thumb through it. I'm already going through it as I film this. Here's the Baryonyx and Mosasaurus. Um, yeah, so that was a Jurassic World Deluxe Kit. Jurassic World Deluxe Kit. And um, I'm going to be receiving the Jurassic Park Welcome Kit, the Deluxe version, the Amber Edition, or whatever it's called. I'm going to be receiving that sometime this year. I'll be updating on my Twitter by Jay Quinzel. And I'll be updating on my Instagram by Jay Quinzel also. Uh, I'll let you guys know what's the status and all that. And this is supposed to be airing on June 11th, 2020, which June 11th is the anniversary of the release of Jurassic Park in theaters. I did not choose to do Jurassic World's uh, anniversary day because I am a bigger fan of Jurassic Park and I just felt like doing something for that occasion. So to those tuning in, I hope you have a very Jurassic day. And there's some things going on in the world that are pretty pretty grim, pretty dark. And I want you to stay strong. I want you to stay safe. If you're itching for some Jurassic content, um, the Jurassic Park uh, podcast has uh, issued a hashtag called Stay Safe, Stay Jurassic, which uh, is in a, it is an effort to unite Jurassic Park fans and to bring content to those that are in quarantine at the moment. And I hope you all enjoy this video. My name is Jay Quinzel. Thank you very much for tuning in and see you next time. Bye.